or then a good one, like I said before, if you're going for hammies, a good one if you do like lying leg curl, super set it with this, put your feet up high, or as high as you can, but turn your feet out. And when you come down, just go to there, but keep the tension there. So yeah. But like I said, there's no people say, do you go shoulder width, do you go? I just say, go wherever's comfortable for you, whatever, wherever you feel your feet are comfortable. So we're doing leg press with like eight plates and then they go to calves and they use eight plates for calves. It's like your quads this big, your calves that big. But when they do it, they're doing this. It's like, that's not working your calf, okay? When I'm leaner, I'd have it probably there. But now I've got a bit of a belly, I just move this back. So you can have it on the right angle. Sometimes when I go heavier, I might bring it in closer. Just because when it's heavier weight, if I have a sharper angle behind me, I don't feel like I'm going to get shot out the back. But, look at that. Oh, hold on. I didn't adjust the pin here, so you can adjust the pin for what height you need to come down. I'll put it there, but maybe I should have went there, but so just go to where it's comfortable, but don't go to, don't do that. Make sure you do at least, you know, a good rep. So would that be the range of motion that you're looking for? Yeah. If my stomach wasn't as big, I could go probably an inch <laughs> deeper, but you know, my legs are pretty good there. I get a good, Normally if I'm doing them now, that's about as far as I'd come down. Just to like there. And then squeeze. Don't, I don't lock them all the way, I keep a little bit of bend in them. And then sometimes too, you know, people go wider. Or sometimes for a change, I might put my feet together. And do them like that. Or then a good one, like I said before. If you're going for hammies, a good one if you do like lying leg curl, super set it with this, put your feet up high, or as high as you can, but turn your feet out. And when you come down, just go to there, but keep the tension there. So you're really squeezing all the inner part. And if you do that, super set it with leg curls, it's a great hamstring one. But normally just for quads, I keep my feet just there. Like anything, you put your feet higher, you'll use more glutes and hammies, which some people will do so they can go heavier. But like I said, there's no people say, do you go shoulder width, do you go? I just say, go wherever's comfortable for you, whatever, wherever you feel your feet are comfortable, that's where you do it. People say toes straight, toes in, toes out again. I never think about it. I just put my feet on the plate and go up and down. Like I said, don't overthink such a basic movement. And again, on here too, while we're here, calves. And the same thing with, again, with calves. People say toes in, toes out. I always just have them straight and I always get a good stretch all the way down, all the way up. And I like to do higher reps. Only, you know, I see people, they'll load up. They'll be doing leg press with like eight plates and then they go to calves and they use eight plates for calves. It's like, your quads this big, your calves that big. But when they do it, they're doing this. It's like, that's not working your calf, okay? If you want to do your calves properly, it's got to be like, you ever seen male ballet dancers with big calves? They just use body weight on the ball of their foot. So make sure you get full range of motion. Now, once my calves are super burning bad and I can't get full range, like if they were burning that bad now and aching, then at the very end, I'll do little ones just to really pump them out to their screaming. But when you first start, make sure you go hard as you can, flex and stretch as much as you can. And then at, only at the end, when you can't do any more, do little ones. 
but I like to do high reps on carbs. I might only use that weight, but do like seven sets of 100 reps. And even when you're going for 100, try do them non-stop, but say you're doing them, you get the 50 in there burn, and all I do is just go quick shake, quick shake, and then go straight back to it. Don't lock it in. Just like, just or even just hold it there, but holding it there, they burn as well. So just like, you've got to give it a quick, quick shake like that. And then go back to your, back to your exercise. <laughs> 